it, it would have been easy to just like, oh, you know what, let's just leave it here, see you later. But as soon as we said, see you later, it was at a di dinner table. <laughs> it was at a family meeting. It was like, <laughs> oh, you're also going home to the same place as me. Like, I can't get away from you. We better deal with this then. Nu ska jag lyssna på hur du snarkar i natt. Vad sa du Anna? Jag ska lyssna på dina snarkar och se om det hörs. <laughs> Anna spelade in mina snarkningar i natt. <laughs> Men jag snarkar inte. <laughs> det där menas. <laughs> Var det svårt att sova Anna? Jag hade en timme där när jag var. Var ligger knivarna i? I think the biggest like glue in keeping us together has been this um, like the relationship of our families in front of all this circle that I was talking about in the in the family choir. So if someone falls out, they fall into a circle which is already or which is always there. I think to stay together for 10 years, it's like any relationship. It's, there is the love phase in the beginning and then there is turmoils. Since we are, a, we are basically a family and we, we have known each other for a lifetime, uh, that, that's something, it's rare on the music scene. And I think we really try to odla that. I don't know how to say that in English, but we try to cultivate, cultivate that, exactly. The fact that we're family has forced us to uh, like be very careful of what we say to each other because we will have to deal with it. There's no escaping. We cannot slam the door and go, oh, fuck you guys, I'm leaving. Even though, of course, I think all of us have wanted that at various times, <laughs> you know. Yeah, and I think we've been close also uh, to end it all. Many times, or not many times, but a few, couple of times. Uh, it's like any relationship, I think. You just, it's really hard sometimes. Sometimes it could be quite ridiculous with the political debates in the band. And even it doesn't have to be political. We spent the whole journey from Sweden to England and on the bus to discuss the pros and cons of electric bass versus a double bass. And there was two distinct camps there that would not give in, <laughs> you know. We have a long history of solving conflicts with each other. We also have, the, you know, you have so much more to lose if, if it's a job and you don't agree with your colleagues, you could leave a job and find another job but you can't you know just go and find another family it's your family and you have to um, solve these conflicts that naturally comes up Som alla andra stod vi kanten. Som alla andra. Okej. Okay. Hade jag verkligen den stämman där uppe? Vilken stämma har du besluttet? Mm. Du skulle kunna ta Annas. Nej, byt inte stämma nu. Jag gör inte det. Du har ju bytt stämma i slutet. Så sjunger du. Som alla andra. Som. Just det. Som, som alla andra. Som. Jag 
tycker att det låter bra i alla fall. Vi får höra hur det klingar i. What was the starting point for making this album? When we re released our second album 2015, we did the, the tour for that album through 2016. And already in 2015, we decided let's have a gap year in 2017 because Eric wanted, we had other dreams <laughs> also. After this break year where we hadn't played together for a full year, um, we met up back here in, in Järna in our small studio. When we went into the gap year, it was like, it's a gap year, see you next year and continuing. But it was obvious when we met that, like, there is a question mark actually here. Will it continue? Will it? Is there more music? And it was a, a quite scary feeling to pick up the instruments together because there was a big possibility that no music would come out. Suddenly ideas emerged and we're like, okay, this sounds good, oh wow. And then suddenly we had loads of ideas. And it was like, I think there is some more music. Don't you think, yeah, should we, should we? Like, do you, everyone fine? Let's not go back to the way it was, but go forward to something new. But it was all about having fun. So we were just, oh, we can do this, yeah, and then we can do that. And it was just um explosion of inspiration, I would say. Ser att det är längre än vad du är lång. The first one will later be last for my way. Assuming that there's a role for everybody in counteracting climate change. Yeah. Regardless if you're a shoemaker or a banker or a politician or whatever you are, what would you say as a musician? What would you say your role could be with regard to climate change? When I listen to music, like for example, the protests in Chile, you heard about it on the news all the time. And then suddenly I came across this video with a band playing and thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of people singing along with them playing. It was an old cult band from the 60s, 70s. And then suddenly I, you know, I started crying watching that. And because I really, I saw the power when we come together and sing or dance or do things together that actually in this whole crisis, suddenly it was this positive energy, this force that was so much stronger than if they would have just been standing there shouting. Ska vi värma upp som vi gjort hundratusen miljarder gånger? Mm. <clears throat> Och med bebisar. Ja. Fem medlemmar i kollegiet. Fem. Den tror jag att jag spelar. Den första spelningen med bebisar. One of the things that I'm most proud of with kolonien is that we value a lot our friendship and always before a concert we 
like make sure that we are like connected with our love to each other. And I think when we make great live concerts, that's when we could like just share that love to each other with the audience. Hey everybody, thank you for watching and now I just need you to do one thing. See the thing here? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Go ahead, yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm.